Hi, I'm uh, Corbinian Wuerl, and I'm a product leader at uh, Aurora Tech, and I brought today um, some examples uh, why a new era of wildfire management from space has dawned, and I'm going to show you um, uh, the constellation we are currently uh, building up. Um, uh, has anybody heard about th that in the news? Uh, there was a recent big wildfire in, in Greece near Athens. Is there anybody here who, who was personally affected? Okay, luckily not. Um, this was a huge fire and it was a very dangerous fire because uh, it was uh, close to a very, very highly uh, densely populated area. and. The uh, uh, area was very dry and there were very high winds. And it resulted in burn of uh, almost 9,000 hectares of forest area close to the city of Athens. Um, that's 20 times the area of this airport here, so it's a really, really huge uh, area. Um, and before I go long into detail what we do, I just show you uh, the start of the event was on the 11th of August at uh, 3.02. And uh, we got the first detection from one of the satellites that we have in our system, NOAA 21. Uh, we got it at 3.05. Um, and this helped us a lot um, to directly spin up our simulation systems and help the Greek authorities with providing valuable data. And what you can see here, those different colors, they show basically every color is one hour, and they show that this fire is going to develop very, very fast, close to, uh, uh, in the direction south, close to Athens. So this is going to be a very, very dangerous fire. This is by, uh, basically, this is a view directly in our uh, wildfire management platform that, that, that is used by, by personnel. And um, with this data, um, the authorities immediately knew they need to attack this big. And you can see here uh, also situational awareness about where uh, uh, the um, planes uh, for suppressing the fire um, are currently located and how they're attacking the fire. And what you can see here very well is um, exactly what we simulated in the very early moments um, actually happened. The fire developed very fast to the south uh, near uh, Athens, and uh, so there had to be uh, over 700 firefighters uh, working on this fire. And uh, I brought also a, a small like, animation and to show you also where satellite data becomes really, really valuable. Uh, you see later, uh, uh, around the 13th of August, uh, the fire broke up into small hotspots that are distributed around already burned area. And in this situation, um, it's easy to lose track. It's easy to decide where do I need to uh, send my forces. And their uh, satellite data is especially valuable. And we have customer success stories also from Canada who had a horrible uh, fire season last year who told us uh, uh, during the, the most heated moment, um, satellite data is the only data that, uh, that helped them to decide um, where uh, to concentrate and where to put their forces. And because we can do stuff like this and we, because we have this type of impact, we are already trusted uh, on all continents. Uh, we have more than 300 users already using our data um, that we collect from public satellites, but also already our own satellites. And um, we are growing fast, so we already have 120 employees and 350 million hectares of forest area are protected by, by our system. Um, what's next? There's a huge problem in the existing uh, uh, Earth observation systems, and that is especially during the afternoon, where most of the fires actually break out, they are close to non-systems that actually monitor um, areas around the globe. And uh, what we are doing with our constellation is we are placing monitoring systems exactly in those moments um, where we have the peak burn period. Um, entering <laughs> uh, 
Aurora Tech uh, Terminal Constellation. This is Forest 2. This is a render of Forest 2. This is the first satellite, first productive satellite we already have in orbit. Uh, the, or the second uh, satellite we have in orbit. The second of 100 satellites uh, we are going to have. We target a resolution of around 200 meters. It's um, not super, super high, but it, compared to what we have, it's already pretty high, uh, which we can enhance to about 80 meters uh, with software. And what's special about us is like uh, we, we, we don't do tasking, we do systematic coverage. So we have very wide swath. We do systematic coverage of huge forest areas of whole countries. Um, and we aim at a very, very high temporal resolution. We're, we're talking in the final configuration um, uh, uh, 84, uh, uh, um, uh, 48, uh, 48 revisits per day with a latency of five minutes. So after overpass five minutes, we have the data. We can start efforts, suppression efforts. And what uh, makes that possible is because we have on-orbit AI that detects fires and sends down me small messages via inter-satellite link. Um, this is where we are. We already have two satellites in orbit. Uh, next year, 2025, we are going to shoot up eight satellites, which gives us already a revisit rate of 12 hours, so twice a day, global coverage. And uh, up to like 2027, we are going to have a constellation of 100 satellites delivering the super, super, super high revisit. And what it will give us, and this is, I, I love these graphics, this is um, uh, uh, from the wildfires in Canada last year. What we're going to get is near real-time active fire data um, covering the whole day in very short capacity. We are going to release this in 2025, like our own data product from our constellation. If you have interest, very limited capacity is, uh, is still left, uh, and the preview is already available. And one more thing, uh, we're shooting up a thermal infrared constellation, so we can also measure temperature, right? So what we are going to get from that is a land surface temperature product that has not super high spatial resolution. Uh, resolution. What we're going to hear next from, from, from Constella, I guess, it's a super high um, a temporal resolution. So we're going to see intraday developments. What we have here is a simulation uh, uh, of how this is going to look throughout the day. Like this is the day and night cycle that you see here. Um, uh, uh, where you can check like, like what happens uh, during, uh, during the day, not what happens during the week, but what happens during the day. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for listening. <laughs>